Okay, so one of the things I said about this next generation of videos is I'd try and be more responsive. And so here's my notes. And uh, <laughs> I had a comment from Hari Bahadur, I hope I said your name right, Hari, who wanted to know what was going on on the lower level. So this is completely uncleaned up. This is exactly as it's been sitting. I've not had time to do anything to the actual town yet, but I will give you a quick look around at kind of where things are sitting. Uh, you can find videos about the airport, and uh, I think I have a video about the space shuttle set and a few other things already done, but I'll give you a quick overview of a little of the mayhem that's here. So the, generally speaking, this is going to be the harbor area, or has been the harbor area, and uh, it does have some some clever creations in it. Oh, I'm going to snag the, like we have our, we have a crane here, which, you know, you can kind of rise on this monorail sort of thing, so the idea is you can pick up cargo and then slide across and stick them on trucks. Uh, there's this big command center here uh, with a little docking kind of see back in there. I'll show you another time. Uh, but that is where the crane operator gets on, on, on and off and of course it's connected by a, a street lighted catwalk that goes over to what we are kind of considering a convention center sort of area, possibly offices or maybe warehousing here. Although for warehousing it'd be horribly inconvenient given that the Ships are all the way down here. You're not going to put stuff all the way up there. But on the other hand, there's a crane that goes there. So I don't know. We have to figure that out yet. But um, mostly it's it's just like a lit, you know, it has like the street lights and stuff on it, as does the catwalk. And that's one big open space on the lower level. And then I think there's bedrooms or something on top. I forget what. Uh, the command center is never finished. Uh, it's still vacant. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, we'll get to that at some point. And then it's sort of like an industrial area, you know, you can park underneath the, the, uh, where, or the convention center thing, and it's just sort of like an industrial place, and there's some extra vehicles that are kind of parked down here. This one's actually kind of cool. I don't know why that one's sitting there. Let's put that at the airport. Uh, and, oh, this is, this is Zoe. Say hi, Zoe. This is Zoe. This is not Catzilla from the other videos. Um, Sophie unfortunately died very young for a cat. She was only, I think, five. She had uh, cystic fibrosis of the lungs. Or not, uh, not cystic. <laughs> she had fibrosis of the lungs. Yeah, so she died very young. But this is kind of, I guess, Catzilla 2.0. And she likes to be in the, in the way, don't you? Yes, okay. So, you know, you didn't want to come to see the cat. Anyway, so this is some of the other areas down here. We don't have our blue... Uh, cardboard down to be our waves yet. I think we may upgrade these to actual base plates at some point. And she's going to screw with my mic cord. You better not. You better not turn my mic off. Uh, this is an original Lego set. It's a fire boat. Uh, this is also an original Lego set. The freighter. Uh, this is a, a mock. Uh, I always called it a hovercraft, but I guess it's more of a giant fan boat sort of thing. Um, this one we called Harbor Police, but it's kind of like a tug looking boat. Don't you unplug me, naughty cat. Hey, stop it. No. So, uh, and then this is, uh, well, I think this is supposed to be on here. We're just, uh, but this is mostly debris down here. It's kind of, oh, and we have a, this is a ferry that needs to have the front reattached. Uh, and there's a speedboat there that's not finished. Some chopper remains. Yeah. It's kind of a weird area right now. And then over here is the airport, which, uh, is a different configuration than I think the last video and there's some mayhem happening on the runways because I think the tables were moved and the planes got knocked over uh, and we've got all kinds of vehicles to service the airplanes down here and there's a cargo area with a cargo set we made these containers they're um, to match the insignia on the on the freighter which I don't know if you can see that or not or actually, no, they, what are they, they ma no, they matched the Xigna on that jet because we didn't have this other one at the time. So they actually, they matched that. And then uh, there's some other ones. I don't know if these are them or not. No, there's some, there's some oh, here they are. Uh, they match the airline uh, emblem like that. Uh, anyway, and uh, so the idea with, you know, this freight area, well, this is blocking it. Hey, will you leave my naughty? Naughty cat, what are you doing? Stop it. Okay, uh, this is a warehouse area, obviously. This is this is an original set, too. And uh, uh, I knocked that over. 
Anyway, so there's a there's a loading dock freight area here, and they've got their little sign. All these signs I'll show you from the other side. Uh, the idea of traffic is that they would come in here and they can circulate around. This is really a dead-end street for the purposes of the public. Um, the airport is a Lego set. We have upgraded it and expanded it uh, rather significantly, and, and I can show you that another time. Uh, that black and white airplane is really just made out of spare parts, as is the truck over there, uh, and we have a few other vehicles I can show you again another time. Oh, and uh, ditto the fuel tanks. Um, that's really it for this side of the table, because of course these are two separate movable tables. I will show you one feature of the tables, is this little groove. I don't know if you know what that groove is for. Let's see if I can find a way of demonstrating it easily. Well, no, I guess I can't. Here. This is probably too big here. The idea is that a road plate uh, fits underneath there, and so that's how we buy a little bit more space. For the road plates. I guess you could also say that I mismeasured things when I built them. All right, so let's go over to the other side and I'll show you what's going on over here as we go. Uh, this is an original set. Uh, this is one of Mia's sets. It's a ranch. Um, yeah, it, it, needs, it needs a little rebuilding. And we did do a video of this house at one point and it had this really cool terrace on the front and it's sort of like a uh, on a cliff. So that needs to be rebuilt also. Uh, we never really got this lower level the way I wanted it. So let's see here. Oh, this is a, uh, I think Tyler used this for like a D&D &D thing. So it's sort of, it's not minifig scale. It's sort of like sub minifig. And that was one of their maps. But yeah, you can see this is, this house is mostly vacant and has this whole like, sort of dungeon area under the stairs and stuff. Uh, there's a separate video on that house on the channel if you can find it. It's really cool, actually, uh, when you can see it in good condition. I think it's been pillaged for some parts. It's missing a big chunk there. Uh, Hot Rod Club also didn't get rebuilt. It's not actually attached, I don't think. Yeah, it's missing a big piece, so that needs to be rebuilt. And this is going to be torn down. and. It's just kind of a weird combination of parts. Uh, that's an original Lego set. It just needs to be put somewhere. Oh, so here you can see the airport sign is a little better. You know, there's the sign to tell you to go in, and then of course you can go that way to the harbor, and it's got like a little security guy uh, there who works the gates. If you can see that gate or not. <laughs> he's missing, a, he's supposed to have glass in, in front of his booth, and I think somebody also uh, pillaged that. <laughs> These uh, the buildings down here on the lower level have had a rough, rough couple of years. <laughs> uh, that's just a weird airplane made out of spare parts. I don't even know what, that, what that's about. I guess it wasn't finished ever. That's an original set. That's uh, not an original set, but we made that out of um, a creator set. Actually, the garage fits a car, which is kind of kind of cool. I thought. And that is original set, as is this one, except we upgraded the, oh, excuse me, except we uh, upgraded this, but we didn't put supports on it. <laughs> so it's just kind of, just kind of hanging there. So it's a partially upgraded carport. And then uh, same thing with this horse ranch over here. This is an original set, but I think it's possibly missing column here. I think this maybe this is part of it here actually. No, that's something else. Uh, anyway, so that, that needs to be fixed back up. And then this is uh, most of a house. Uh, oh, one thing I'll point out since we're here is, of course, all through town we have mailboxes. I don't know how, but I acquired a lot of these original mailboxes over the years. So they're all over town. And that makes it interesting for our postal folks. And then these uh, benches that have this blue and red, that corresponds to our bus lines, which there's a blue line and a red line. And the idea, at least originally, was that if you found a, a blue uh, only bench, that was the blue line. If you found a red bench, then that was the red line. And if you found a blue and red bench, then that was both lines. And then at one point we changed it and it was like, uh, the buses were both blue and red, but they each bus had, this, had the colors like reversed. 
and it was the I think it was the top color that determined what line it was. So some of the some of the benches were the other way around. So anyway, whatever your bench was, that was the bus that would come pick you up. But right now the buses are only blue or only red. So uh, which Tyler doesn't like. So we'll probably change that. Oh, I'll take this off and show you. This is a cool little sticker. That's why we call it the Hot Rod Club. In case that wasn't in case that wasn't clear. So that is uh, yeah, here's the back side of that large convention space. I guess there aren't anything in the bedrooms there. So yeah, I don't really know what that's going to be. But it'll be something uh, at some point. I don't know. Uh, and we need another, we're missing like at least one plate that we need to make for some intersections to kind of connect. Maybe two plates actually, now that I look at it, just to kind of connect everything together. So I don't know if I'll buy more plates. They're hard to find, um, honestly. Oh, there's one little mystery in here. I don't know if you can see this or not. This is not a Lego piece. This is like a monorail. And so it, it actually fits this on it. And it can kind of glide on that. And I think we have I think we have two chunks of this. And so I'm thinking of making like some kind of a people mover sort of system that maybe connects like I don't know, the airport to the parking area or something. I don't really know what. Um, anyway, so oh, yeah, it looks like <laughs> the barn is missing a couple columns. So yeah, some, the parts are all here. Stuff just kind of has been knocked around a little bit. And I know it's a little sad, but we'll get it all together. It'll be fine in the end. So that is what's going on on the lower level. Uh, yeah, and here's a little closer look at this tower, which is a really cool shuttle set. I think it's the best shuttle set there is. It's that particular one. Uh, there's also a video already of that somewhere. So I hope that answers your question, uh, Hari. Um, and I will be answering any other questions you guys have or giving you closer looks. And when we get this all fixed up, <laughs> we'll get some lights on it, and I'll really show you how, how uh, it's supposed to be. All right, thanks for watching. Go check out those other videos. If anything in here that I mentioned uh, you want to see a closer view of, and we have a video of it, then... Uh, you'll have to go look for that on the channel, and because um, it might be a while till I get this all cleaned up and can do it again. Like, share, subscribe, you know, the usual things, and I appreciate your time, and I appreciate your interest very, very much.